Today is a special day in the journey of a 14 handicap golfer. I will be showing you every shot of my round at Woburn. We played the Dukes course off the back tees, which makes it a 6,971 yard course. It is a top 100 course in England. Let's get into it. Starting off here on a very narrow 514 yard par five and it's SI9. Oh, snap there. Might be down there. Is it down there, yeah? All right, not the start we wanted, but hit the tree, down in the blue of the fairway, so at least that, at least it's alive. Yeah, that's really good. We'll make the fairway eventually. You right, guys, welcome back to every shot of a 14 handicappers round today here at Woburn. We are on the Dukes course. It's a top 50 course, so this is pretty exciting to be out here today. We're playing off the whites because the boys wanted to, not so much me. It's going to be a challenge. The aim is to shoot under 90, so fingers crossed we can. Let's see how we get on. Not the best start. Okay. That's a bit better. We're off the mark now. We're moving. Yeah, exactly. It's a dodgy par, but we love them. All right, 123 into this pin now, so we can get up and down. Feels quite downwind, so I'm going to hit 50. It's going to be on the green. Oh, thank you. Need a bit more, but okay, won't lie. Nervy little start. I feel like this might be one of those rounds that we grow into. Always get a little bit caught up in the atmosphere of when we play a really nice course so just trying to potentially do better than we did at the Belfry because I'll probably put this course on a similar level to that. All right got like 54 foot here to start us off it's a little bit worrying but these greens are pretty rapid. All right it's turning. Oh it's a tap in. <laughs> there we go. So today we're playing with Ron, Oakley, Ollie. Check them all out in the description. Hole two is a 385 yard par four. It dog legs down to the left and it is SI 10. Oh, that's so bad. All right, bit of a rescue mission here. We're just gonna hit a pitching wedge, get it moving down. I'll do it. Back out on the fairway, have a shot in now. Got a bit of a competition going on today. It's me and Ollie versus Ron and Oakley. Uh, Oakley's off 15, I'm off 14. Ron, I think, is off four. And we've got Ollie, who's actually a pro. Uh, you can check out his Instagram down below. Playing off scratch, so me and him versus Oakley and Ron. I'll keep you updated. Oh, right, got 108 yards in, downhill, off a downslope. Could be quite good. Sit. Yeah, really happy with that. Look at this next hole, by the way. How sick is that? It's a par three. Look at all the flowers. Sit. All right, guys, we're going to do gimmies today just to keep the pace of play up. I mean, that was about a foot, so we'll take it. This hole is absolutely stunning. It's 134 yards long. It's a par three. It's the easiest on the course. Oh, absolutely strike that. Hopefully it's not too far now. Yeah, on a little uh, bonus. If you uh, carry your bag here, you get to come down the woodland path. Everyone else has to go down like the trolley path. But look at this. What is this? I think this I think this instantly goes into my favourite hole that I've ever played. I mean, I don't think it's particularly challenging, but just the aesthetics with the flowers, just absolutely wild. What on earth, right time of the year to be here, that's for sure. All right, we've got 36 up the hill here for a birdie. Uh, a little bit of meat on that. There we go, love that. First part of the round, we'll take it. Hole four is a tight and narrow 395 yard par four and it's SI3. 
Oh no. Just gonna chip like an eight iron, I think, out of this. Just get it back. Problem is, if I don't go far enough right, there's no way I can go between the trees. God love woven trees, eh? Yep, hopefully that might just give us a shot of the flag now. All right, we've got 140 here. It's quite uphill though, so I've got an eight iron in hand. Go on, ball. Travel. It's on, we're putting. I mean, other than off the tee, which has been absolutely abysmal, striking the irons pretty well. So let's keep that going. Maybe we can find a bit of form with, you know, woods and stuff and make it a little bit less of a challenge to shoot what we want to shoot. About 10 foot for par here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, and it's got a little bit on it. All right, that's a five for me. Next, we're moving on to a par five. It's 517 yards long and it's the 15th hardest on the course. That's down the middle, happy. All right, sweet. The boys that I'm with absolutely smash it. I'm literally probably about 50 yards behind them with driver. It's unbelievable how far they hit the ball. That doesn't matter though, because today feels like I can chip and putt, which is really important. It's a bit of a layup here. Uh, the dark tree in the back is about 180 away, so I'm gonna hit six iron. Big cavern right in front of me as well. Oh, that's so bad. I'm in the cavern. Good lie down, I heard. Uh, yeah, we've put ourselves in a real fucking sitch here. Ball is going to be absolutely miles above my feet. Go, ball. Yeah, we're out. Up and down. Plenty of sand in here, Oakley. No worries, mate. Sit. Oh, I'll take that. Okay, to save a bogey, yeah? Oh. oh my god. Oh dear. All right. Ah. Yeah, it gets really turning right at the end there. We can forgive the uh, flubbed iron shot into the cavern, but the three putt from there is a little bit. Ugh. A nice long part of three here. It's 206 yards long and it's SI8. The longest par three you'll probably ever see on the channel. 200. Eight yards to the pin here. Turn in a little bit more. That's it. Don't roll off the back. Yeah, we're good. One, two, three, four, nine, ten, eleven. This uh, this might have been one of the best shots of my entire life with a hybrid. Um, we've got 33 foot to the pin, but it gets rapid when it gets to the pin. Go ball, go. I was too scared of it. There we go. Nice. Let's go a par. We're onto the hardest hole on the course. It's a 473, yes, 473 yard par four. Par four so long, I'm never getting there in two. So just gonna take three, we're just trying to keep it in play. Oh, you fool, Tom, stay out of the bushes. Might have to just hit driver because at least then I'll be further up in danger, you know? All right, so was in here. I'm gonna take club length out to the... I'm just gonna go up and over the edge of this tree here. A little pitching wedge just to make sure we get up and over. Go back in, back in play. That's the main thing. It's funny because I've been going through like a real roller coaster with both my long clubs, three wood and driver. Some days I can feel like I'm a hit driver, some days I feel like I can hit three wood. Today is a day I feel like I can hit neither. So I'm thinking that I might just start hitting driver because, well, we just need that distance, don't we? We are now so far away that I still can't get there. So I've been trying to tell myself to just like hit clubs I'm comfortable with. So I'm just going to hit seven iron. Seven iron is kind of where my comfort level is. There we go, that's a really good strike. See, when you feel comfortable, just golf feels so much easier. So every tee shot so far I felt uncomfortable over. 
and you can see the results like it's just been all over the place barely even made it off the tee box most of the time all right we got 108 to the pin here it's at the top of a shelf so instead of trying to like land it at the top of the shelf i'm gonna try and run it up there they were like chippy eight That's not very good. It might right work though. Stay off the fringe. The fringe will kill it. Uh, it's on the green. I mean, that's good. Good enough for me. Got about 50, 50 foot here. Go on, go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so slightly unfortunate. Well. I mean, we've made a triple on the hardest hole on the course. Um, it's our first really big score of the day. I'm not too worried. Um, I feel like our game is hanging on. <laughs> Maybe we can shoot under 90. It's going to be tough. If we play a little bit better on the second half than we have on the first, we'll definitely do it, though. Hole number eight is a 409-yard par four, and it's SI6. And, oh, good kick right as well. Yeah, don't mind that. I got a seven in hand because I feel like I can get up over this little tree in front of me, guaranteed. Um, it probably it won't get to the pin because the pin's at the back, but it should get at least to the front edge as long as we connect well with it. Oh my god, that is so bad. <gasps> oh, all right, it's alive. But fucking hell, I turned that one straight into the trees. I'm gonna go up and over this tree now. <laughs> We're a lot closer, we've got 50 degrees, so it should come out a lot higher. Yeah, we're up and over, a bit right though. Wow, we are so short. Goodness me, starting to get a little bit out of hand. And I've got 38 yards to the pin. That could be about right for weight. Oh my God, if that goes off the back. Stop. Oh, pin eye, says Oakley, thank you. Oh, don't mind that. We've got another par three here. It's 177 yards long and it's SI 16. Yep, pretty good. About seven foot. Yes, come on. Four up. That's one of my objectives completed for the round. Try and shoot under 90 and get one birdie. We'll take it, we'll take it, literally. Dovetailing like absolute beauties right now. Yeah, that was the importance of going last in the putting order because I saw everybody's putts. Everyone thought it turned left and it didn't break once. So straight down the middle, straight in the hole. Happy days. We've rounded the turn and we're on to a 404 yard par four. It's SI 12. Oh, hold on. No, straight right. I don't know, I can't see if that's like trees there or if it's bushes. All right, we've got absolutely nothing to work with here. Um, it is literally just a straight shit back out because the flag is there. Could go onto the next fairway, but what's the point? Might as well just come back onto my own. Go back out on the fairway. That's all we needed there. All right, flag is 189, but it's actually blowing a gale down this hole. Um, so I'm gonna try and hit hybrid to get it on the green. Ah, it's turned out right. So right, it'll just be green side now. Try and get up and down for a bogey. Best thing about coming down 10 is that we are now about to approach the halfway hut. And apparently the sausage rolls here are on real okay we've got 31 yards here just gotta make sure we rotate through that yeah like that all right release out go ball yeah just got caught up in the rough just a little bit all right we've got a 24 footer here absolutely pulled the life out of it but thank you very much sir so here it is. Ollie is literally loving life. Good. Oakley's giving it the seal approval. Out of ten. I haven't really got any of the sausage yet. Oh, okay. Pastry, but okay, we'll come back to you. 
Yeah, they're elite, yeah, they're really good. What's the score out of 10? Well, yeah, 8.9. 8.9? 8.9, Ollie? 8.9? 10? 10. Ron, what are you saying? 9.8. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it solid. solid. I don't do points, 9. 9 is for me. Hole number 11 is a par 5. It's 505 yards long and it's SI 13. <sighs> That's got to be cut out by the tree, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, nice. We'll take that. We've got these trees here in front of us. Um, don't think I can really... I mean, I could, but I don't think I should try to go up and over them. So I'm going to chip one down to the right and have about 100 yards in, I think. Yeah, I do. I think, frustratingly, I've gone a little bit too far here and now I've got another tree that's going to block me off for the next shot. That's mental. Ollie, who we're playing with, I didn't hit the worst drive, but I've just hit 120 sort of like knockout and I'm dead level with the drive. Okay, yeah, it has happened. Unfortunately, we do have this tree in front of us. So we're gonna have to go low. I'm gonna hit like a chippy seven and try and run it up there. We're about 139 yards away, so. That could be good. I'll run ball. Just short of the green, sadly. Maybe we get up and down for a par. Got about 55 foot here, so we're gonna putt it. it now yeah not too bad better than a chip that's for sure <laughs> oh i just never committed pathetic gotta hit him gotta hit him that's a sad one that one didn't even give it a chance hole 12 is a par three it's si 17 and it's 193 yards long that is not very good that's gonna have to run a long way to get there Go on, run. It's just going to be short, I think. 30 yards to the pin here. Some nice juicy rough to contend with. So we can just glide this one through. Oh my God, you donut. Yeah, gl gl glowed, glid. What's the word, Oakley? Glided it. I glided no, I that right. I believe that's called a blade. I glided it with the blade right through the back. <laughs> that's pretty good. Go, 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 go. Oh, you beauty. Oh, that's a bogey for me. Another long par four here. It's the fourth hardest on the course at 430 yards long. That's the best drive of the day, easily. I have crunched that one here. Yeah. Right, so. On this hole, everyone has hit a pretty solid drive. I think everyone's pretty happy with the drives they've hit. So it's going to be interesting to see, once we get down there, who's the furthest. Even though I think I munched mine, I feel like I'm probably still a bit behind. Okay, I've got 148 yards into this pin here. Oh, I've got that pretty well. That should be really good. We're on. We're putting. All right, 15 foot for birdie. Let's see if we can roll it in. Go on. Go, 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 go. Oh. <sighs> I do like this putter, yeah. We have the longest hole on the course now at 564 yards long. This par five is not for the faint of hearts. It's SI7. Ah, oh, it's from the best drive of the day to that. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> all right, just gonna try and advance the ball here. He's hybrid. Setting up all right, so. That'll do. Recovery. All right, just gonna lay up again here. Um, long way to the pin. There's a bunker up there that's 200 yards away, so I'm gonna hit five iron at it. Yep, that's about as good as I can hit an iron, I won't lie. Yep, perfect layup. All right, we've got 117 to the pin. Bit windy up there, so I'm going to hit a pitching wedge. A little left of pin, but should be all right. Sharp, mate. Yeah, we're on. We're putting. Yeah, I've got to say, pretty special place this, won't lie. Definitely started really strong with that par three. All the holes feel, I mean, pretty epic. They're all in amongst the trees. 
I guess because you're in amongst the trees the whole time, it can kind of like, you lose sense of where you are in the round. But I guess that's one of the nice things, you get to switch off and not really have to think about what's going on in real life. All right, I've got 15 footer here for par. Should break off the left a bit. Ah, low. It's all right, I'll take it. Oh, thank you. Hole 15 is a 435 yard par four and it's SI5. Oh, for it. Yeah. In amongst the theory. Definitely hit, it's definitely hit a lot of trees. We're actually on the next fairway, so we've actually got this beautiful window to try and come back through here. So, I'm gonna try and chip an eight through. <laughs> it's through, but it hit about six trees. Now I got 163 to the pin. Just coming out the rough slightly. This ball's taking a hammering. Oh, that's so bad. We all have holes like it. We're actually scoring pretty well, to be fair, considering how difficult the course and how long it is. I think off the whites, it's like 7,000 yards. So not an easy course, that's for sure. All right, we need to get this on now. Not got the greatest lie. It's our fourth shot. Pin is 92 yards away. Bounce right. Oh, it's just on the edge. Maybe we can get up down for a double. All right, 30 footer for bogey. I've hit that too hard. Stop now. There we go, that's a six there. Hole 16 is a 449 yard par four. It's the second hardest on the course. That'll do. Go over that tree. Under that tree, perfect. Yeah, on the fairway. About 220 from the pin here. Sadly, my ball is nestled so deep down in this rough. Um, it might just be sitting in a depression that I think I have to hit a seven just to make sure I get good contact on it. That'll do. It's not the best connection, but it's going to run a long way. So leave us about 70 yards in or something. Try and get up and down from there. I think that's one of those things I could use to do more is like just try and manage my expectations. Like I'm not going to hit greens regularly from 230 even with three wood and a perfect line you know so best off potentially laying up a lot because then you're not in a like a horrible lie you're just in the fairway chipping on mm. 70 yards to the pin well clunked it but it might work perfectly slow down i thinned it i think it's still rolling stop just be on the green there we go Oh, I've underhit it. Oh. Yeah, beautiful. All right, for a five. Dormy. Important, important putt there because it's kept them at bay for another hole with Dormy. Onto the home stretch here. We've got a 425 yard par four. It's SI 11. Oh, I missed the trees. Just one time. Fuck off trees, I'm sick of you. Yeah, I have no idea. I won't lie, I cannot quite believe this. Like, this, are, these are all the trees that's just come through. Uh, it was literally on the line of the trees. So how it's ended up carrying all the way down here with a perfect approach in, I'll never know. But them's the brakes. Go, Paul. Be good. Be really good. Go. No, stop. Stop. What the... F Okay, it's gone long. I was begging it to go. <laughs> it's gone out the back. Short little chip back on. Not gonna, just gonna like tickle it back on because it's gonna go quite quick. Go on, ball. Go, go. Oh, All right, we'll take that. There we go. That's a pass. And to finish off, we have a Diddy par four at 356 yards. It's SI 14. Okay, 18, here we go. Let's just try and make it home. Some one piece here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Kick it out. Oh yes, it's been kicked out. 
All right, here's the score, guys. If we manage to get bogey or better on this hole, we break 90. That'll be a big result, big result. Um, now that I've said that, there's absolutely no chance I'll do that, but <laughs> that tree kick out was big, very big. All right, we've got 105 yards in here. Wind is off the back just a little bit. Got my 50 degree. That should be decent. It should be on the dance spot at the very least. Yep. Putting for a bird. All right, 12 foot for birdie to finish off the round. Come on. It's not the birdie we wanted, but it's the par. And that does mean that we have broken 90. All right, there you go, guys. We've completed our two objectives today, which was to make a birdie and also to break 90. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you want to see more videos from me, then just click right here.